Good morning. It's our third day. <laughs> it's Saturday. We left Thursday. So yeah, third day. Um, this is in Renes Cathedral. Not exactly the traditional start of Route... I almost said Route 66. Of the NC 500, it's Scotland's North Coast 500, which they try to compare to Route 66. Totally different animal, and that was just stuck in my head. So, North Coast 500, not the traditional start, but we are headed to see dolphins. Let's hope they are out, and they are hungry, and they are doing their thing. You know, what dolphins do. And then we pick up a camper van. Ah, I'm excited and a little bit nervous. I'm not exactly outdoorsy. I know y'all would have never guessed that, but I'm giving this a try. I'm excited about this, so let's go see. Channonry Point is famous for one thing. There is a lighthouse there, but that's not what it's famous for. It's famous for dolphins. And I have to thank Fiona from FNS Disney Adventures for the top tip of checking the tide times. The dolphins come in with the tide. So if you go about an hour after low tide, there's a good chance or a better chance that you'll see dolphins. Obviously, they're wild animals. There's no guarantee. So we took our spots on the opposite of Fort George and we waited. And did we see dolphins? Yay, we saw dolphins! After the thrill of seeing dolphins, we headed into Fortros to see the ruins of their cathedral. This is Fortros Cathedral. Mary, Queen of Scots, and her royal court stayed for several days in 1564. Our work on a new cathedral here began in the late 1200s. I couldn't find a date, now I found it. So some interesting history, uh, Sir Andrew Murray, guardian of Scotland, was buried here in 1338 before his remains were moved to Dunfermline Abbey. His father fought alongside William Wallace at the Battle of Stirling Bridge. Also in 1797, workmen repairing the Southern Isle opened one of its 
his tombs and found a fairly well preserved bishop. That's quite interesting. A bit scary. Go have a closer look. The inside part looks exceptionally well preserved. For something of its age. There's the part that you see that is still standing, and then some just foundational ruins. So it would have been a lot bigger back in the day. The foundational ruins stretch quite a long way. This would have been the site of the nave, and then it goes all the way back behind. This would have been the choir. It's where the clergy sat to chant the services. Our next stop, and our last one before going to pick up the camper van, was the Fairy Glen Falls Trail. If you're looking for the trail, there is a small car park right at the beginning of it, so you can put that in your GPS, and I'm pretty sure that worked. It's a three kilometer trail, which takes about an hour there and back. It took me maybe a touch longer, because Although the trail is marked and there's a good footpath, you have to be really careful about the tree roots and stones, things like that. So it took me maybe a little bit more than an hour, plus we stopped to take a lot of footage. So it takes us longer to do everything. It really is a beautiful walk. And once you get to one set of falls, if you go just up and over them, there's a second set. It's really pretty. Hope you all enjoy watching.